Hey, Indigo Room. Guess what time it is? It's story time. It's story time with Sydney. Here we go with the Indigo. Sending the best in bliss, yes, so let's go. Bringing brain waves to a higher plane. Manifest your world, shaking the mundane. Chip up, make moves, inspire. Change yourself, work the worst, taking you higher. Bring forth your serenity. Get words like destiny. Have to choose a substitute and make your move to find the way in you. The dust of sky will melt so hot and spirits rise and winds will change. So yes, I invite you, invite you. So come on through, come on through. See how we do in the Indigo Room, yeah. Welcome to the Indigo Room. Don't you just love stories? Like, when we were kids, you wanted mommy to tell you a story. Clown, mommy, tell me a story. Tell me a story. So now you get story time with me. So I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> um, I had to close my windows because it's. It, I told you that it's like the tropics in here. My son sleeps with the windows open. Every Listen, you walk by the neighborhood around here. People still have their air conditioners in their window because it's it's still hot. And th they turn the air conditioners on. They turn the air conditioners on. It's The air conditioners are on in this complex. That's how hot it is. I'm not complaining about the heat. I'm just saying. So I had to have the window open. And I did this video before. And while I was doing the video, somebody was shoveling snow because we live in New York City. I'm in Staten Island. Somebody was shoveling snow and he was shoveling really, really hard. Really hard. <laughs> He's making a lot of noise. <laughs> oh, oh. Even after I close the windows, you can still hear it. All right. So this is story time. Welcome to story time with Sydney. I want you to sit back and relax a little bit. And I'm going to tell you a story. This is a really cool story. It's a manifestation story. Most of the stories that I'm going to be telling you are going to be really cool stories. I hope. I hope they're not wicky wacky stories. But this one is a cool one. So I have started this new lifestyle. I follow Dr. Sabi and I wanted to have some, um, oh my God, he's shoveling. He is shoveling again. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, but he's shoveling again. Holy freaking moly. I don't know. I didn't know anybody could shovel so loud. Okay, so we have, um, we have, <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's just shoveling. All right. <laughs> okay. So I decided to change my lifestyle, change what I eat, change my eating habits. And one of the things that I wanted to do was have plants growing in my apartment. I don't live in a house. I don't want to live. I don't want to have a big house. You know, I'm a woman of a certain age. Now I don't want to have a house that I have to take care of all the time. So I plant plants in my apartment, which is great. I eat my food, my fruits, my vegetables, and I take the seeds and I plant them. And then things grow. This is this is my plan anyway. So I decided last year that this was what I was going to do. I put stuff in the pots. I um, recycled all my water bottles and I made planters out of them. Yes, I did. And I put my seeds from my fruits and my vegetables in my um, planters. And things started growing. So I have t tomato plants. I have pepper plants. I have um, ginger that I grew. I have basil and thyme and chives right now. That's what I have. I took my avocados and I, you know, saved them too, but that's what I have. 
And last year, um, after I planted everything, after I planted everything, I injured the back. I had, a, I had The back got injured. Not my back, the back, because I'm not claiming that no more. So the back got injured, and um, I was in so much pain, and, you know, I really was neglecting my plants. I'm sorry, plants. So I started to feel bad. You know, I would come home, as to, you know, come home from work and everything, and they weren't doing very well. As a matter of fact, they looked like they were dead. Literally. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm embarrassed. Don't judge me. I'm embarrassed. They, they looked like they were dead. And I just, I could not accept it. <laughs> I refused to accept that I had killed these plants. I, I just, I said, no, that's not it. Nothing in the universe dies. Everything lives. Everything survives. So I decided that I was going to be more mindful of my plants and I was going to water my plants and I was going to take better care of my plants and beg them to come back to me. Please. And so what I did was um, I started watering them and nothing happened, of course. You know, nothing. It just They just kept shriveling up and looking even worse and worse. Not all of them. My ginger plants and my chives, they're very sturdy. They did very well. And my pepper plants did very well. But my tomato plants and my basil plants, it was like a massacre in here. A massacre of plants. Plants. Plants just... It was a massacre. So I um, decided to, that I was going to start talking to my plants, right? I'm usually really good with plants, but this time I was just, it was very, it was, it was shameful. It was shameful. Like I said, don't judge me. So I started talking to my plants and really begging them to come back, willing them to come back. And I, apologized to them and I said I was sorry and that I was going to do better and I was going to take better care of them and I just kept watering them and of course nothing nothing happened they still looked like you know all shriveled up and I'm going to show you what happened to my tomato plant this week I was on the phone talking to my friend, Linda Patrick. You know, Linda, she's the moderator of the Indigo Room. And she's been with the Indigo Room since we, since almost for forever. Um, she came in a little bit well, a while after we started in 2007. And she's been with us ever since. So I was talking to Linda on the telephone. We're having a great discussion. I said, oh my goodness. She's like, what? I said, I can't believe it. She's like, what's in me? I was like, oh my God. She was like, what? 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 I said, I just looked in the pot and my tomato plant is growing back. My tomato plant. I'll show you. I'll show you what happened. My tomato plant came back. It is amazing. And I will show you. I don't know if I'm going to show you all of the plants that will look shriveled. I don't know if I could do that to myself. It's very embarrassing. But I will show you the tomato plant right now. Hold on. I'll be right back. That's what I saw. A little tiny tomato plant coming back up out of the pot that I killed everybody else <laughs> see it's just they just i'm just i'm sorry plants i'm sorry i'm doing my best to take better care of you and i'm so thankful that you came back tomato plant okay so you saw the tomato plant right? And it is a metaphor for what we're doing here in the Indigo Room, I believe. It's allegory, as as Neville Gardner would have said. We're doing the resurrection. We're reading the resurrection. And I believe that nothing, it is, there's nothing impossible in the universe if you believe and have faith. That little, I am, listen, I'm just, I'm all verklempt. I'm just, you should have heard me 
happy. I every time I I'm so happy. I am so ecstatic. I'm so happy that my little tomato plant is back. That little thing may gave me so much joy. All that means is we can be, do, have anything we desire. We can. And you can resurrect your job you can, or your career. You can resurrect your business. You can resurrect your plants. You can resurrect your relationship with your family. You can resurrect your, your, your financial status. You can resurrect your health. You can resurrect your life. This is what Neville has taught us is teaching us this is what the I am statements is teaching us we can resurrect we are powerful we are more powerful than we have been given credit and that we get that then we give credit to ourselves then okay then we give ourselves credit we are powerful beings so I encourage you all to start using your imagination start reading the resurrection start using I am your I am statements. Join us in the Indigo Room on Wednesday nights from 9 p.m. until 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Join us. And maybe you can have a plant resurrect too. I'm excited. I'm excited because it just solidifies everything that we know to be true. Everything that Neville has taught us is true. You can be, do, and have anything that you desire. And you can create your reality. And remember, remember, it is not being extraordinary that makes you unique. It is your uniqueness that makes you extraordinary. I'll see you, hopefully, next time on the Indigo Room during Storytime with Sydney.